the difference between the heart and the tongue is that the tongue enjoys its work. Good day, viewers, and welcome. Today we are still on Surah Imran, the father of Maryam. We're going to section 13, and it begins with uh, Ayah 1, 2, 1. What does it say? Uh, what is the daughter men alika to bury you al mu'minun maka ida lakatali remember that morning thou didst leave thy household early to post the faithful at the stations for battle you can imagine how lengthy it is in english hmm? which battle it refers to the battle of hood uhud sorry it refers to the battle of uhud after the uh, battle of badr it wasn't an easy battle this verse is telling us that God's hand is in wars. When there are two warring parties, God's hand is there. And God uh, supports the one who is right and the one who fears, who is upright. Two things combined, right, righteousness and uprightness. Yeah? If you are uh, right, to be right, judge right. Uh, when you are judging, you judge who is right. And then at the same time, who serves God well, who fears God, in other words. So it depends on who is right and who fears God. Hmm? Let's go on. I'm sure. uh, okay, let me take it again. I've explained it again. Let me take it in Arabic again. I don't know where I stop. What is Gadota mean Alika? Tabawiyu al mu'minin maka idal lil kital. Then it follows, Wallahu Samiu Alim. So this is another mention of God. Hmm? God heareth and knoweth all things. Before the war, God knew what happened long before the war in the hearts of the two warring parties and in their utterances before the war. God knows. So that's what he's telling us here. Eh? God knows. God hears and knows all things. Don't think that when two parties are warring, God's son is not there. He's there. Hmm? Next, but next, Aya 122. Is Hamat to Tani. Is Hamat to Ifatani Minkum. Anta fshala wallahu waliyuhum wallahu waliyuhuma. What does this say? Remember, two of your parties meditated cowardice. Of course, if you are going for a war, <laughs> you can't be sure. Huh? They are they are all coward. They are all meditate coward ca ca uh, cowardice. Huh? If I'm going to war today, well, I don't know whether I'll come back to meet my wife and children or not. You know, but I have to go. It's command from, from top. <laughs> huh? well, I don't know whether, whether that is where you remain or you, you know, or is to, your body will even be brought home to be buried. My grandfather's body wasn't brought home when he went for the Boer War. Huh? The Second Boer War. He, he was buried there. Nobody saw him. Again, as soon as he left, that was all. My grandmother didn't see him. Hmm? So, uh, remember, two of your parties meditated cowardice. Hmm? Uh, let me take it again. Is Hamat to Ifatani Minkum and Tafshala? Then it asks. Wallahu, Wali Yuhuma. Oh, yes, I read it. Wali Yuhuma. Uh, 
But God was their protector. He was the protector of the two parties that meditated cowardice. Hmm? Wa ala Allahi falyeta falyeta waka falyeta wakale al mu'minun. Wa ala Allahi falyeta wakale mu'minin. Uh, but God was their protector. Okay, I've learned that. And in and in God should the faithful ever put their trust. So you see, in war, prayer is involved. The faithful should put their trust in God. I've said it in my previous videos. When Goliath was going to to face uh, David. Uh, sorry, when David was going to face Goliath, he and his commanders prayed together. Together, Rabbi Ifrak Alina Sabra, what Tabit Agdamana, Consulna Allah Kaumil Kafiri. So, the determinant of a winner in a war is first justice, who is right, then two, uh, supplication, who, who prays to God most. Because if you are just and you don't pray to God, ah, oh, well, uh, uh, <laughs> I don't know. You 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 shouldn't be. You shouldn't expect victory. You see. Wallahu, waliyuhu ma, wala al Allah, waliyal takawal de, yatakawal al mu'minun. So God is the protector of those two parties that uh, exhibited cowardice, and. Uh, uh, in God should the faithful ever put their uh, trust. Okay. Next ayah. Next sign. 1, 2, 3. 1, 23. Another 1, 23. 1, 2, 3. Confused. So, uh, sign 1, 23. Wala kat nasarakum Allah. Wala kat nasarakum Allah. Be badrin. Wa antum azillatum. What does it say? God had helped you after Badri when you were helpless. So Badri was the word they fought and they were helpless, but God helped them after that. Mm -hmm. uh, fa etoku Allah la alakum. Tashkurun. Yes. So it's here. Uh, then, fear God. Thus may ye show your gratitude. The question is, the soldiers fear God. They do. They pray. When they are going to pray, they pray to, to be successful, to kill and not be killed. <laughs> Pardon me for laughing. Uh, it's a serious thing. You pray. When you are going to war, you pray. You pray that God allows you to kill and God prevents your enemy from killing you. <laughs> Can you imagine that? But there is justice in it. God knows uh, that there is justice in it on one's part. Uh, one, but one, uh, one of the combatants, combatants uh, is, is just or is true in fighting. You see? But it also depends on prayers from them, if, even if they are right. Uh, uh, where did I stop? Taku Allah la Allahum Tashkurun. Then fear God. Thus may He show your you may you sh may thus may He show your gratitude. So what is this verse telling us? Showing your gratitude to God is embodied in prayers. So praying to God or fearing God. Hmm? When you fear God, you are more or less showing gratitude to Him. Mm -hmm. Maybe the first mark of gratitude is to pray to Him. That's what this verse is telling us. Or this part, part of this verse is telling us. Then fear God. Thus may ye sh show your gratitude. So when you pray to God, you show gratitude to Him. Mm -hmm. Uh... 
رئيس تقولوا للمؤمنين ألن يف ألن ألن يف فيكم أن يميدكم ربكم بثلاثة بثلاثة ألف من ملائكتي منزلينا so God is saying to Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam remember thou said remember you said to the faithful hmm? is it not enough for you that God should help you with 3000 angels specially sent down hmm? malaikatu munzilini specially sent down so in other words Muhammad had told uh, his warriors his faithful warriors is it not enough for you that god should help you with 3000 angels specially sent down so this is what he did to boost his uh, faithful you know one thing about muhammad he didn't stay at home like com present commanders do and send people to the war front even if they go they themselves do not go to the war front they sent innocent people muhammad was there in the war front commander and also a combatant to encourage the people the people were looking upon him and fighting huh? once he's there they have no fear except a few parties like the uh, surah like the uh, verse is saying and once he's there the very faithful ones among him have no fear our messenger is here our man of god is here why should we fear so that's what it is present day they have bombs and aircrafts and what not and they stay uh, at home the commanders and be given directions muhammad was not like that he went down himself fought himself to encourage his fighters uh Is it not enough for you that God sent God should help you with 3000 angels sent down so you can imagine so at the war front there are also angels this is what this verse is telling us sent by God to help the right the, to help the combatant party that is right but you cannot tell because you don't see them Mm. Uh, then he said bal intasbaru bal 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 intasbaru wa wa tata wa tataku wa yatawukum min fawrihim haza yamdu haza yamdukum haza yamdukum ربكم بخمسة ألف في من ملائكة مسومين مسومين صرف بال ريد اه يا بال يا if you remain firm in tasbaru if you remain firm and act right وتتقوا and act right وتتقوا ويقتوكم even if the enemy ويقتوكم men for him even if the enemy should rush here on you in hot chase that means even while they haven't prepared yet if they are not fully prepared and the enemy and the enemy should rush on them at the spot hmm, your lord would help you with 5000 angels oh my god hmm? uh uh-huh ya wa ya tukum min furihim haz hazal yam hazal yum yum tukum haz haza sorry haza yum tukum rabikum bi hamsatin alfa alfa fin min malaikati musawimi clearly mark musawimi you will send 5000 angels yes to help him muhammad Uh, 2000 uh, 5000 and just clearly marked to help muhammad 
or to help you, whoever is fighting, and is prayerful. So don't think the soldiers just go like that. They pray. They have families. They have children. Before they leave, they, they lament with their families before leaving. It's very sad. They lament with their families. My dad went for the Boer War. The colonialists chose him to go to the, for the Boer War. He went the first one. He came back. The second time he came, he went. He didn't come back. If he were there, I would have been I would have retired as a big army commander because we, we emulate our parents. But unfortunately, he didn't come back to push me into the army. Sorry for being personal anyway. Uh, uh, One, two, six. Wama <laughs> Tamina wa letat ma inna kulubakum kulubukum bihi. Let me take it again. Wamaja alahu alahu illa bushra lakum. Walitat ma inna kulube kulubukum bihi. God made it but a message of hope to you and an assurance to your hearts in any case. So when you are fighting and God is within you, you don't fear. You know, and you have prayed well, you know God is on your side. They say, oh, God is on our side, and we are also right. They provoked us. They provoked us first. But people don't see their provocation. It's only ours that they are seeing. Yes, somebody can provoke you to fight silently. <laughs> oh, yeah, mankind is wicked. <laughs> Just to say wicked. You provoked you to fight. But he won't tell you. Look at these boxes in the ring. Muhammad Ali used to insult his first openers. He would go in there. He would tell them. He would insult him. Only he, the opponent, would hear. <laughs> he would insult him well, well. Then he would get angry and rush like a bull. Then Muhammad Ali is cool. He would give him the jobs the way he likes. So, who is... Only God can determine who is right in a war. Hmm? Uh, Sahabihi. Wama anasru. Wama anasru illa me in the lie. Azizu hakim. Oh my God. Here the name of God is again revoked. Uh, 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 revoked, sorry. No, no, what do I say? Mentioned. Uh, the name of God is again invoked. Sorry. Uh, to your heart. In any case, there is no victory except from God. Oh my God. I've said it. There is no victory against from God, the exalted, the wise. Presently, Russia is fighting America and the West. Russia says this. The West says he is aggressive. Russia says, no, they provoke me. Imagine the way they are coming near my borders. I want and want and want and want and want. They, are, they say they won't do it, but they are doing it. We don't know. God knows. Or let's say we know. Some, some men know. A lot of men know. But God, God even knows better that this war was planned long, 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 long time ago. And that uh, Putin was patient. Putin and the Russians were patient. They exercised a lot of patience Let's hope it, it goes their way. I'm sorry. But uh, from the from the uh, situation of events, it looks like it's tilting towards the Russians. Like I said before, somebody will vote somebody silently, close people's eyes with rhetoric and provoke. And when the enemy gets up, they say, oh, he is the aggressor. He is the aggressor. He is the aggressor. Sorry for going into politics, but I have to explain this uh, verse well for people to understand. Mm. So who is right? God knows. If Putin is right in saying they provoked him first, or if the Russians are right in saying they were provoked first, God knows. If NATO and the West are right by saying we did not provoke him. He agreed. We agreed that we should uh, base our military 
in that in this country and that country near him god knows so finally i've been too fast finally who wins the war uh, depends on god finally the war isn't finished yet if america and nato wins it it means they were right if Russia wins it, it means they were right. God knows the right one, and God knows the end. God knows who will win it without uh, causing, harm, causing harm to his servants in the world, all parts of the world. So let's pray to God. Uh -huh. Except from God. Uh, there is no victory except from God, okay, does it? The exalted, the wise. One Two seven, I one two seven. Liyuk to ah, sorry, liyak ta ah. Tarafan min lazina kafaru. Aw yak bit, aw yak bitakum, aw yak yak bitakum. Fayang fayang kalibu ha ibina. Sorry for bad reading. Let's go to the English section. That he might cut off hmm, the yak ta'a. That he might cut off a fringe of the unbelievers. Eh? The yak ta'a. The yak ta'a. The rifan. Minna lezina kafaru. A fringe. Tarifan. Tarifan, sorry. Tarifan. A fringe of those of the unbelievers or expect them to uh inf infamy i mm. will yet be to whom that's expose them to infamy so you see that as the world draws on uh the aggressor the causer of the war will be exposed to infamy the thing will go down mm. well yak bitter whom for young calibu uh, uh, it being, mm, to inform it, to show them to inform, and they should then be turned back. And they should turn them to. Be. We are watching events. Like I say, nobody knows. Only God, God knows the end. Mm? And whoever is the wronger party uh, is expected or should turn should be turned back, frustrated of their purpose. Not for thee, not for you, Muhammad. Not for you, not for thee. Min Amri. Shayan, not for you. Let the Amri Shayan, not for you is the decision, but God. Hmm? Not for you, in Amra is the decision, but God. So the decision is not for Muhammad, but for God. Muhammad cannot decide whether he will or not, or whatever happens during the war and after the war. But the decision is for God. Let's look at min amari shayin. Aw, aw, ye tawba alayhim. Aw, you azibuhum. Aw, ye tawba alayhim. Aw, you azibuhum. Fa innahum zalimin. Uh, not for thee is the decision. Whether ye turn in mercy to them or punish them, for they are indeed wrongdoers. The enemies are wrongdoers. They were resisting Muhammad's message, mission. They were uh, resisting Muhammad's mission, sent by God. He was sent by God to propagate his message. Ikra, propagate his message. Mm. So, and uh, God is now telling him now, whether ye turn in mercy, whether you turn in mercy to them or punish them, uh, for they are indeed wrongdoers. So, it is not for thee, it is not for you, Muhammad. 
is uh, not for D, Muhammad, is the decision. So whether you turn to them in mercy or you punish them, uh, if forgive us, uh, let me see. Oh, I'm, I'm in the wrong line. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm reading the, uh, the next verse, brother. <laughs> Old man, sorry. <laughs> Less like I mean, Amri, she and Ow, yet a bow, Ow, yet Ow, yet tuba, I lay him, Ow, you as a room, for in no home, Zalimin. Not for thee, but God is the decision. Whether he, whether he, God, turns in mercy to them or punish them. So even after the war, God knows how to decide the end of the war such that there will be, uh, he will save the face of the wrongdoer if he wishes. Yes, that's what this means, please. You will lose the war, but still, God has a way of saving your face. Hmm? In other words, covering your shame. He's not going to put dark glasses in the eyes of the he, but he, he knows how to manipulate, to let the aggressor lose, or the wrong one to lose, and yet, uh, Everything comes normal, not too much disgrace. Of course, whoever is doing is the wrong one, it's not uh, a Satan. You see, they are all fighting. Uh, whoever wins, Russia, uh, America has helped the world a lot, and the West too. Uh, America and the NATO, sorry, NATO and the West have helped the world a lot. Russia has also helped the world a lot, and God knows how to manage things. Mm? You will lose, but at least I will save your face. You will not be disgraced. You will lose, but not in disgrace. He knows how to do it. Nobody is more wise than him. Mm -hmm. So, uh, what do you call To whom, uh, let me read it again. Whether he, so, uh -huh. so the decision is not for Muhammad, but it's for God. Mm -hmm. Whether he, God, turn in mercy to them or punish them. For they are indeed wrong doers. So if he punishes them, it is because they are indeed wrong doers. If he gives, if he exercises mercy on them, it is because he God has considered a lot of things. Like I've said, both parties have done a lot for the world for us. So we shouldn't just say this or that. Or that. No, 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 no. It's left for God, mm? because one tiny bit can balance the scale as to who wins the war. Just, just like one tiny bit can balance the scale of the soul who is being judged. One tiny bit. Let's go. Uh, for there are indeed transgressors. Uh, the last, yes, I think, yes, the last ayah. And what does it say? Well, in life, my peace, my word, my feel out. Jack Phil, Liman Yasha, where you Azibu, Man Yasha, where Lahu Gafurun, where he. Oh, yes, it's ending again with the invocation of God. And to assure us that God is forgiven and merciful. Uh, he has said it in the previous paragraph. So you see, he has lumped the uh, three paragraphs together before invoking his name. Hmm? Three or four paragraphs, let me see. Yes. Is, yes, because the last paragraph was 26, where he said that uh, God the exalted the wise. Since then, he hasn't invoked his name like, uh, until 29, 21, 27, 9, 28, 1, before he invokes his name again. So this is a group of verses uh, talking about one scenario. So after the three voices, he now God now invokes his name. That's why I say no document, no book in the world is like the Quran. So now he's come to say, uh, to Allah belongeth all that is in the heavens and the earth. He forgiveth whom he will, he pleaseth, and punisheth whom he pleaseth. But God is of forgiving, most merciful. Hmm? So take note. In war, it's not the one with weapons who wins. 
It's not the one with tanks, with more tanks or more aircraft or surface to air missiles, air to air missiles, air to surface missiles, who wants? Is the one who uh, is favored by justice and the one who prays to God that wins. The whole world can say anything. Why the world start No, 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 no. No. I don't say he's, he's right. We are yet to see. But God is saying uh, the determining factor in winning a war is justice. Then prayers. Otherwise, Goliath couldn't, uh, sorry, couldn't be killed just by David. And Muhammad couldn't win the war in battle when his army numbered about a third of that of the enemies, so roughly 1,000 and about 300. Even in this one, too, about 3,000 and about 1,000. Hmm? So it's not determined by might, sometimes with intelligence, sometimes with prayers. And it says somewhere, Wakami fi atin kalilan, galabat fi atin kathiran. So a small battalion vanquishes a big battalion. The isn't a lie by the will of God. Oh my God. Viewers, we shall end here. Thank you very much for listening. And may God bless you. Bye bye.